The European Digital Media Observatory was launched in June 2020. Time to have a chat with Marlene de Kogbuning and Miguel Poeres Maduro, who are respectively the chair of the advisory board and the executive board of the observatory. My name is Hulot Kotaubers and I connected with Marlene and Miguel in a video call. Hi to, to both of you, good to see you. Hi, nice to Hi. see you. Online disinformation is very much a sign of our current times. How, does, how did Admo come about and how does it contribute to tackling the phenomenon? We try to bring together journalists, uh, media literacy experts, academic researchers on disinformation, um, fact checkers, and, and bring them together and put them in contact too uh, with those that work on digital platforms, with those that work in media companies. To find balanced solution for this really important societal problem uh, that would not amount to censorship, but really would be more about creating more societal resilience and building more scientific knowledge. It is independent academic research made possible through the collaboration with um, platforms. Hopefully they will collaborate with us. We will push for that. And uh, pushing for media and information literacy. So we will be doing like a multiple approach to tackle the problem of disinformation in a balanced way. So let's talk a bit about concrete activities. What is on the agenda for the remainder of 2020? Very concrete, what we will be doing, for instance, is build a repository of media literacy documents. So professionals can then reach out and find really great materials for media literacy, because we feel very strongly that that is one of the important pillars to create more societal resilience against this information. And we will also provide fact checkers with a great repository of, of their work and as well as tools to make their work a bit more easy on a day-to-day -day basis. So I can add to what Madeleine has said, the fact that we will also start uh, not only organizing events where we're trying to bring together, for example, fact checkers, uh, and therefore start to promote the contacts between those uh, um, different actors, uh, but also um, prepare and plan the trainings uh, that address both at media literacy experts and trainings addressed at fact checkers. This is going to be in the future one of the core activities of the observatory. In addition, we will have a very important role uh, in trying to engage uh, with digital platforms so as to make more accessible in particular to researchers but also to fact checkers data that these digital platforms have yeah and i really would like to to confirm what miguel is saying there because i think you know we, uh, if you would ask us Hulan, what is like the you know the most important thing that that Edmo can bring is exactly that because researchers have been asking to digital platforms to get that data to be able to do the right research and so far they were not always that lucky and now through Edmo we will be able to provide them with that that kind of information making sure that the platforms also feel safe that they can share that data in a very good way but this really will make a big difference going forward I would say. Yeah. And this leads us, of course, very logically to the question of how is it actually possible for people working on this information to link up with the observatory? We will have the possibility uh, for people to uh, apply through our sites, to be part of those networks that bring together both people that work in different countries on the same thing, for example, fact checkers from different countries in Europe, but also uh, networks that will bring together fact checkers uh, uh, even with public organizations or with researchers. This is one of our goals and it will be possible through our site. So let's all go to www.etmo.eu, the website of the European Digital Media Observatory, where of course you can also sign up to our um, email updates. So um, I would like to thank both of you, Madeleine and Miguel, for this conversation and I hope to see you soon in person. Thanks. Bye-bye, Roland. Bye-bye, Madeleine. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.